Navigating Maryland's housing market isn't something you should be doing alone. That's why we're happy to bring you the Real Estate Rundown with the W Home Group of Next Step Realty. Here to help with the answer is W Home Group Realtor, Jessica Dulaney. Welcome. Thank you. Um, I'm assuming you're going to say agent, but let's go through the process of this. <laughs> For those who choose to go it alone, what should they consider? Exactly. So we as real estate agents, we go through this process every single day. So if you're looking to sell your home by yourself, there's a lot of things to consider. Um, I would say, have you properly researched the market? Do you know what the current trends are? How are you even pricing your home? Like, how are you coming up with that number? We as agents, we are, we are the ones that are experts to be able to help you figure out what that price is. Mm -hmm. And then more importantly, I would say, do you really have the time and the effort? Do you, <laughs> do you have time to come up with the advertising? Do you have time to field phone calls? Are you able to schedule showings? Are you doing your own open house? I mean, there's just a lot of effort that goes into it. Yeah. Um, and then on top of that, like the pricing, like when you are coming up with your price, you could miss the mark and right. it could, it really would impact your sale overall. You might not even sell your home yeah. or you might sell it for a lot less than what you could have sold it for by hiring an agent. Right. It's just not in your best interest. Is it true though that some people can save money on commission if they opt for no agent? It's you would think that, and I think that's the common misconception. So hiring a real estate agent, like, yes, there's a commission that has to be paid, but there's a, a reason why we're getting paid because we know You're how working. to go through the process, <laughs> right? Yeah. So there's a lot of aspects throughout the deal where the deal could go wrong or something could happen that would cause you to lose money on That's it. what I was gonna ask you. Yeah. Why is it in the buyer's best interest to hire an agent? Is it almost like that insurance for the whole process? So like, not only that, like, I think it comes back to like the pricing. That's the biggest reason why you're going to hire an agent because I have an example. So I had a seller who told me that they wanted X amount for their house. I went in, did the research, did the marketing, and we were literally able to make them $100,000 more than what they were expecting. Wow. So like they made significantly more money because of that. 100%. So that's just one small example. It's got to feel incredibly satisfying for you to be able to do that in yes. that scenario and others. What's the best part of your job for you? Yeah, I mean, for me, I've always said the reason I'm in this business is because I love meeting new people, connecting with new people, yes. getting Getting to know people on a personal level. I always tell clients you're, it's more than just business for me. Like I want to be your yeah. friend. I want to like help you through this process and make it enjoyable. So it's always the people for me. That makes sense. And it is the people at the W Home Group too, because this is something that I'm hearing echoed yes. through your entire team. You really do yeah. hold that belief when you're interacting with all of your clients. hundred percent. And our yeah. team, like you're backed up by so many, just so many great people, marketing, admin, just everything across the board with the W Home Group yeah. is positive. You are covered from beginning to end. Yes. All right, Jessica Delaney, thank you so much thank for you. being with us. We appreciate it for this real estate rundown. For more information, visit thewhomegroup.com. We'll be right back with more Midday Maryland right after this.